Hey everyone this is Neha and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to learn chapter number 9 from the book Beehive of class 9 the name of the chapter is the bond of love and it is written by Kenneth Anderson Kenneth Anderson Kenneth Anderson was a British writer and hunter who wrote many books about his adventures in the jungles of South India. He wrote many real life adventure stories. Introduction The Bond of Love is a story of love and affection between a human being and an animal. The bond of love has a power to bind all human beings and animals animals can also feel the heat of separation and express their own anger in a typical way so in this story the writer tells us about the bond of love that existed between his wife and bruno a bear when the bear was brought it was a cub and when the bear grew up it was sent to a zoo and separation of author's wife with the bear become unbearable thus in the story the bond of love kenneth anderson shows that there can be a bond of love and friendship between man and animal hey my lovely viewers it's a humble request to all of you if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe it and hit the bell icon right next to it for further notifications now the main characters of the story number 1 the narrator he is the writer of the story who found a sloth bear and gifted him to his wife then narrator's wife she was a kind woman who loved the bear a lot and treated him like her child bruno a sloth bear whom the narrator found and gifted to his wife the curator a zoo keeper who took care of bruno at the zoo and informed the narrator's wife about its condition the superintendent a kind hearted man who allowed the narrator's wife to take bruno with her detailed summary the narrator finds a bear cub The writer found a bear cub by chance when he and his friends were passing through the fields of sugar cane near Mysore. People were driving away the wild pigs from their fields by shooting at them. Then they spotted a sloth bear. His friend shot towards the bear and it died. After the sloth bear died, her cub which was riding on her back ran around her dead body making a sad noise. The narrator caught the bear cub and gifted him to his wife. The narrator's wife felt so happy on seeing the bear and named him Bruno. She treated him as her own child and took good care of him. She gave him many things to eat and drink. He ate porridge, vegetables, fruits, nuts, meat, rice, eggs and drank tea, milk, beer, coffee Bruno spent his time in playing with the pet dogs of the narrator and his tenants children he slept in their beds unfortunate incidents with bruno once an incident took place in the house the narrator had put down a rat poison it was barium carbonate and he placed it in the library and bruno ate it he suffered a stroke of paralysis he dragged himself to the narrator's wife they took him to the veterinary doctor and he recovered after some time another time bruno drank 1 gallon of old engine oil but it had no effect on him bruno's playful tricks as bruno grew he learned some tricks and at the narrator's wife's command he could perform them he could hold a stick like a gun when she said wrestle or box he did the same she changed his name to baba when he grew up baba had to be chained most of the time because of the children of narrator's tenants as time passed baba grew in size so the narrator and his friends advised the narrator's wife 
to send him to the zoo in Mysore because he needed a bigger and open space. She wasn't ready to send him initially, but later she agreed and sent him to the zoo. Effect of separation on narrator's wife and Baba. The narrator's wife was in grief for weeks after Baba left. She wrote the letter to the curator of the zoo to know about Baba. The curator replied that he was fretting and not eating food. The narrator tried to keep her away from the zoo for about 3 months but after knowing Baba's condition she decided to meet him. Reunion. The narrator took his wife to the zoo. Some of her friends told her that Baba would not recognize her but when she went to the zoo Baba recognized her at once and became very happy they sat together for 3 hours she gave him food she urged the curator to send baba with her but he was helpless and suggested her to ask the superintendent for that baba returns happily the superintendent allowed her to take baba and he was hoisted on the top of the narrator's car at home a 20 feet long and 15 feet wide island was made for him a wooden box was kept for baba to sleep he was happy to be at home again and the narrator's wife and baba spent hours sitting there thanks for watching